Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today in this video, we are going to unpack the power of remote desktop technology. And more specifically, we're going to guide you through one of very powerful remote desktop application that is powered by Google and is known as Chrome Remote Desktop. Now, before I simply jump into my system and show you how it works, let's understand what exactly the remote desktop is. To simply put it, a remote desktop is an application, a remote computer or a computer that is not physically present here, which means that you can access your office computer, for example, from your home and can run any application, download file and can perform any task that you can perform by being physically there isn't it amazing guys now you can help anyone let's say for example you want to help your parents in solving their pc problem or you want to access your office files from your home without even visiting that place it is something like pc in cloud or cloud pc but here the pc is of your itself and the PC is not sitting or placed anywhere um, in a far location at data centers, but PC is actually at your home or office or wherever you want to access. Now let's talk about how we can download and set up this Google remote desktop application in our system step by step. So without further ado, let's get started. Now we are at our computer screen. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to open my browser. So if you are using Chrome, then you can go with the Chrome browser. Or let's say you do not have Chrome, then you can even go with Microsoft Edge. So let me actually open Microsoft Edge because it comes installed with Windows. And let's say you do not have Chrome, so you do not need to worry about to install it. Now here I'm going to type google remote desktop now we need to click on this link which says chrome remote desktop and there we go now here we can see this screen which shows overview of chrome remote desktop and here you can see the two way of utilizing this chrome desktop uh, one way is to access your own computer or even you can access others computer apart from that you can also share your screen so in this way guys you can basically do two-way communication by either sharing your screen or accessing other screen let me quickly click here on access my computer now accessing your computer required a google account so if you do not have google account which is very rare nowadays you can create google account but I believe most of the user already have it. So you can simply sign in. So I'm going to quickly sign in. And there we go. Now you can see after you sign in the Google remote desktop page looks like this. And after that, we can click here on this download button, which is going to download the Google Chrome remote desktop extension. And there we go. Now simply you need to click on get and believe me guys if you are using Google Chrome then the process of installation will remain same. So we need to click here on accept install and then um, this actually will download a uh, setup in your download. So just make double click on that and this will eventually install this extension in your browser. Now here you can put your system a name. So for example, this one is desktop. So I'm going to write desktop, Pritam desktop one, and then I'm going to click next. And here we need to set up a pin so that I can access this PC. So let me quickly put a pin there. And here you can see the pin should be at least of six or more digits. So four digits won't work. So let me put more digits there. And now I can click on start. And here we go. Here we can see our status as online, which means that now this desktop can be accessed through another computer. So now similarly, I need to repeat the same steps in my another computer, which I would like to access or from that system, I would like to access this system. So it totally depends on us. And one more thing that we need to keep in mind that we should sign in from same account. So now let me quickly jump into my another system. 
now here i am at my another computer screen and let me repeat the same steps but this time i'm gonna use chrome browser such that we can also see the steps that we do in chrome and believe me guys all the steps are going to remain same so let me quickly write here google remote desktop and now i'm gonna open the same link and click on access my computer and there we go here i can actually see my system as online so one way is i can directly you know make a double click and get connected to my first system and here we need to enter the same pin that you know we created in our previous screen and here we go here we can see both of my screen are visible and i can utilize this chrome desktop through web browser as well but before we go in depth let me quickly install it so that we can improve our overall experience let me click here on download and again it will download an extension which is exact process as we performed in our first pc and here we go here we can see we have installed it and now i simply need to click on turn on and here i can put this desktop name as pritam desktop 2 and for this desktop as well i can generate a pin so let me quickly create a new pin for this one and now i can click on start there we go here we can see the status as offline but after let's say half a minute we will see it online and there we go we can see both of my desktop are now online so this device is the below one and the remote device is the top one so now whenever i want to connect to my desktop i simply can make double click and now here we can see it is now connecting to desktop one and let me quickly enter the pin and i can also click on remember my pin on this device so that i do not need to enter my pin again and again and there we go here i can see both of my screen together and i believe there should be options so that i can see one screen at a time for that i can click here on settings and here we go here we have different different options so let me first of all make it full screen and now um, here we can see further customization in terms of screen setting. The first one is scale to fit and then second one is resize to fit. So let me uncheck this so that I can see only one screen. And there we go. Here I can see only one screen at a time. Now here let's go to next section which is video codec. So if your system is powerful enough then I would recommend you to go with uh, VP9 or AV1 format. This will give you much better streaming and quality compared to VP8. Here we also can enable high quality color which is lossless color and I would definitely recommend you to enable if you have a high speed broadband let's say 100 Mbps or 200 Mbps broadband which can easily handle a high speed data transfer rate and one more thing you definitely would like to change is the fps so if you as i previously mentioned if you have good internet connection then you can go with higher fps now let's move on to our next section which is input control here you have an option to toggle the system keys whether you want them to use in remote system or in your local system so by checking this you can toggle these buttons so if i uncheck it and press ctrl alt and delete this will work on your local system and if i check this option then you will see this will work with your remote system the next option here we have is key mapping consider the situation when you have different style of keyboard in both pc there i think you can utilize this option the next thing here we have is to configure the keyboard shortcut which is nothing but just a button that lets you enable or disable keyboard shortcut the next section is of display which is especially very useful if you are using multiple monitors just like here we are using two monitor so from here you can actually choose which display you want to see 
So this is pretty useful, I would say, in case of multiple monitor setup. You can also see both display. For that, you can just enable this option, which is scale to fit. And that's how, guys, we can see both display. And if you want to see only one, then as we discussed before, we can choose any one of them. Now, let's go to the next section, which is of data transfer. This, I would say, is really useful if you want to transfer file from one system to another. So here we can see we have ample amount of customization available to access our system from remote, which I would say is pretty nice to have it, especially when you are not paying for it. And I would say this is one of the best way to access your system in a remote way. Now here we have an option to disconnect it. So let me click on disconnect. And in this way, guys, we can disconnect from our remote system. Now here we also have an option to connect to systems that you do not own or let's say you want to help your friend or colleague then you can utilize this remote support so from here you can access your friend system or you can share your screen with your colleague or friend pretty easily for that you simply click on generate code and here you will find the code you simply need to copy this code and provide to your friend or colleague and then he or she can put that code here and can get connected to your system so in this way guys you can easily access your friends or colleagues system as well as you can provide them access to your screen if you go bottom here we also have an option to access system utilizing ssh then if we go down here we have help section send feedback and toggle theme. Let's say you do not like the dark theme, then you can toggle it and can make it light. And that's it. You are now equipped to use Google Chrome remote desktop to access your devices or even you want to help your friends from anywhere. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If you did, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Technoholic for more such productivity video. And I will catch you soon in my next one. Till then you take care and bye bye.